Hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 A Game of Thrones and we are back with House Longspear as we look to continue expanding our dynasty and increasing our land, making more troops and hopefully this episode taking the higher lordship of Duskendale. Now if you missed the last episode quite a lot happened to be honest and it's probably easier just to go back and watch it to be honest. A little cheeky plug for my own video there. But last time out we managed to take Birch Hall so we control Antlers, Birch Hall and Brindlewood where we started. We had two daughters. Unfortunately, we don't have a son yet, which is kind of what we're looking for at the moment. It would be very useful to have a son uh, to kind of really carry on the legacy. Um, our wife hasn't produced a son yet. We're going to stick with her. I did kind of, you know, contemplate maybe looking for a new bride, as it were, last time out. But I feel like we'll stick with it for now, and hopefully, now we're not leading troops anywhere or anything like that. Uh, Stannis is, of course, on the Iron Throne as well. That happened. Robert Baratheon. Um, where is he? Good old Robert. Uh, died under suspicious circumstances, someone murdered King Robert, and Stannis the Manis took over the throne, although he's actually Stannis the Just on this game, so it's a long way away from how he's portrayed in the series and in the books. So at the moment we're kind of waiting for our troops to reinforce, we're waiting for a son to be born, which we can carry on our legacy with, hopefully we can train him to be as formidable a fighter as us. We do have a claim on Hollard Hall, which we could arguably press right now, but as I mentioned last episode, this is actually the brother of the High Lord, so I'm a bit worried that if we attack Hollard Hall, uh, Renfred Riker might come to his brother's aid and try and attack us as well, which obviously wouldn't be very helpful for us because they do have more men between them than I do at the moment, which is why we're waiting for things to slowly build back up. It's mainly antlers, to be honest. Ah, my wife is pregnant again, which is good. Hopefully this one's a son, because the other advantage is that... I'll read that in a second is that once we have a son, we can marry off our daughters to try and gain some alliances, but, uh, potentially. Get some alliances around us. Maybe look towards people in the Vale. I don't really want to get any alliances with any of the High Lords of the Crown Lands, because I do eventually want to take the, as many as I can. And I don't want to have the, you know, the difficulties of breaking alliances and things like that. I knew there was a huge bear somewhere near the caves in Duskendale, and a courtier of mine had insisted to come along when my men and I went hunting for the bear. So we can say, enough of your nagging you can come along or we can say that he's not allowed to join us. Well there's no reason why he shouldn't be allowed to join us. The beast was a huge, bigger th I read that as the beast was a huge, no the beast was huge, bigger than any bear I'd ever seen. I fought him bravely but only managed to slay him after he wounded several of my men. So I can say I could not save anyone which gives Sir Elwood Hart 30% chance of being wounded or I can say I managed to save him which improves my relations. Well surely I'm going to go for that one then. Surely, arguably. The other one gave me 10 prestige. Well, I don't really need 10 prestige. But having someone that likes me a bit more is always useful. In terms of vassals, we actually have a vassal that hates us for some reason. Not quite sure why he doesn't like us so much. Let's have a look. So, he doesn't like the fact we usurped his title. Doesn't like the fact we declared war on him. Doesn't like the fact we're ambitious. Ah, because he's ambitious as well. And doesn't like that we have a female heir and we declared war on him. So, lots of reasons for him to dislike us. Can we deal with him? Not quite. Uh, there's a tournament in Claw Isle. I'll go and try and prove my worth. We've not had much luck in tournaments so far. Hopefully this is the one that turns it around for us. It would be nice to win some tournaments, get a bit of gold, get a bit of prestige. That would be ideal for us, but it's not happened so far. I do have quite a lot of money, so I can always raise some mercenaries uh, if I so chose. If I chose to. But I'm kind of thinking of saving the money until we take Duskendale and then upgrading Duskendale. Um, quite a lot. So I'm just clicking through the tournament in the background. As I've said many times, we've been through enough tournaments now in this series to pe for people to know what's kind of happening. So we're managing to hit him again. We're actually fighting Sir Gregor Langwood. Uh, he's got a dual skill of two, so I'm hoping I'll be able to beat him. Where's Langwood Hall? I believe it's further south. Yeah, it's near Atterdale. Uh, we ha still haven't knocked him off. This is the, j the joust that will never end. This time we managed to knock him off, finally. It took quite a lot of time to knock him off, but we managed to do it in the end. We're now fighting uh, Balman Birch. One of the birches who we actually usurped the title from. So I'm not sure he's going to be my best friend. He's managed to hit us first. Do we stay on? No, he managed to knock us off. So, as I've said again many times, it is very random. Because we have a dual skill of 21.5. Theirs is 6.5. So, realistically, we should be able to beat them. But it is random. So, uh, not too concerned. One of the King's Guard was taking part in the tournament. That seems a bit, a bit unfair, to be honest. He managed to win the tournament. Jacelyn, or J Jacelyn, Jacelyn. By water. Who's actually on the King's Guard? Let's have a quick look at that. Um, there are easier ways to do it. I don't know why I did it this way. Aha! We've had a son! Brilliant! Finally! Okay, so we've had Orain Longspear. I will keep that name. That's quite a nice name. 
So we have completed the ambition to have a son, but I think we can go for the ambition to have five children. We've got four already. Well, we had four. We've got three alive at the moment. So having another son would be ideal for us, but we do now have a son who can carry on our legacy. Uh, we'll quickly have a look for uh, betrothals for all my children, if we can. For my son, ideally, because we're not a high lord, so it's not too much of an issue, I'm going to look for someone who's got a good uh, genial trait, like stronger, attractive genial trait. Is that the right word for it? Something that can be passed on to their children, so like something like strong or attractive or genius. Ideally a genius, but I haven't seen any yet, unfortunately. Um, so we may leave it just a couple of years to see if anyone is born. In terms of my daughters, though, I think I'm going to look to get them married elsewhere to get some alliances. Uh, or should we go for a match lean alliances and keep them in sort of in the family and, and be able to give them land in the future? I think that might actually work better because in terms of alliances, it doesn't really help until we're a bit bigger. So, for example, uh, Roel Longspear could marry an Arryn here, Donald Arryn, who's got the attractive trait and gives us an alliance with the King of the Vale, uh, or Lord Paramount of the Vale, I guess. No, apparently he's King of the Vale. It's a bit weird how he's a king, but she's just... Lady Paramount, that's a bit confusing. I think we'll go for that. He's got a good... Uh, he's obviously attractive as well, so that would help in the future. Gives us a lot of prestige as well, and also lets us give him land in the future that he can use. So we've got more men, basically, that we can pass land to. I think we may look for an alliance for her, though. It's just about finding a High Lord that would be willing to join us. There is Faring Cross, but that's just a single bit of land. And it's in King's Landing, so that's not the most useful. Um, particularly anyway. There's a few Northmen. I kind of do want someone in the Reach or maybe in the Vale. There isn't Osgrey there. That'd be quite interesting. Uh, should we go for the Osgreys? I mean, they've only got Standfast, which isn't you know particularly useful in terms of numbers of troops. So maybe not the most useful thing, to be honest. We'll have a quick look. There's a Lord of Lannisport, uh, Lord of Galement, Lord of Dawn, which gives an alliance with... Uh, Doran the Cunning, which, er, I mean, it's not... Ah, we've got Loras of the Reach. I think we'll go for Loras of the Reach. It may give us an alliance with the Reach. Probably not, because we're quite a small lordship. I don't think they'd want to do that. But getting married to the Tyrells would be an interesting match. Maybe not very realistic. Maybe I could have done that a bit more realistically. But I feel happy with that match. I feel like it works well for us. And may work even better in the future, hopefully. So at the moment, we're just kind of settling things down, getting everything sorted... Um, still need to find a uh, betrothal for him. But as I said, we'll wait maybe a couple of years, see if any genius babies are born. Because I, I am a bit obsessed, to be honest, with trying to get good traits into the family. But genius is definitely the best of them all to, you know, make the best possible characters. Because if you can get a son who has, you know, the genius trait and then make him a good fighter, he's pretty much unstoppable in terms of Marshall. Because it adds, I think, it's five to every single stat, which is always useful. So if you have a look at... Uh, I don't think he's actually... I think I think he was executed. Yeah, Bail, uh, Lord Peter Baelish was beheaded, but he's genius. So, yeah, plus five on pretty much every attribute. And plus two on dual skill as well. So, very useful trait for someone to have if they can get it. Lots of people trying to plot in my kingdom, but I'm not a kingdom. It's not really a kingdom, it's more of a lordship. But not too concerned for now. Most of them seem to be stopping when I ask them to. We can start a faction in the High Lordship of Duskendale, but none of them really help me, so I'm not going to do any of those for now. He has 4.5 men, we have 3.19... 4.5 men, 4.5 thousand men even. We have 3.19, so we're not really in a position to attack yet, because if he does join the war when we try and take Hollard Hall, we are going to be a bit stuck. It's Antlers that seems to be the problem, they're just not uh, sort of improving their garrison enough. I could move my Marshal uh, or Master at Arms to Antlers to speed it up, but at the same time I'd lose men from Brindlewood. Uh, he wants us to approve small feudal taxes. I'll approve to make him like us a bit more. Although he's only really got two vassals, so I don't think it really makes much of a difference. But I'm hoping we can have another son, so we have two sons that we can give land to in the future, and of course carry on the family name where they can. Might take a bit of time, though, to, to sort of get to that position where we have enough land to give out, and we're kind of Thinking a long way in the future, but you know, later on we can have you know different high lordships given to different sons. If we can have like, I have had a save before, and this was kind of inspired by a save I've had before, where I started in Birch Hall, and after a couple of generations, I kind of control most of 
the crown lands, including dragon stone, so my people could get dragons, which is kind of my ambition at the moment, is to get enough high lord chips and then take dragon stone and have that as sort of a basis of power. Unfortunately, uh, King Stannis currently owns dragon stone, so it'd be a bit difficult to take it from him. But we can take all the bits of land around it, I think. Poachers have been seen in Duskendale, so I should probably send my Spymaster Arwood and my Marshal Sir Cavern to investigate the matter. Uh, poachers will be eliminated. I don't want poachers on my land, thank you very much. My leech says, rumour here in Duskendale that one of the local nobles might be corrupt. How's his... He's got 19 intrigues, so he should be fine to see if he can... Never mind, didn't work. <laughs> he was assassinated or killed off. So I'll, I'll give Eglantine Spymaster for now, just because we don't have anyone better. And I will look for someone better at another time. But right now, I think Intrigue isn't really our our game, to be honest. My beloved wife, Perra, is constantly bored and keeps talking about the new fashion she's heard about. Now she wants me to introduce it at court, so we can say, My money is your money, which uh, gives us the charitable, tra charitable trait. Vanity is a sin, let's go to the church instead. Gives us the zealous trait, which doesn't prove our martial. Or, this is my money you're talking about, which gives us greedy. Um... I think in terms of character, I guess he's ambitious and brave, so he would have the, you know, the the sort of gall to say it to his wife that she's being vain. Ruthless as well, and rude. So maybe that one. I think I'll go for Vanity's a sin, though. Let's go to church. It gives us Zealous, which gives us two Marshall. So we're now at 27 Marshall, and it means we don't like our Lord even more. In fact, I think it actually gives us... Oh, uh, it doesn't give us a bonus. Oh, uh, that's uh, Holy Warrior. Sorry, that's a different... A different trait that gives us you an advantage when fighting armies of a different person's religion. That would have been useful, but can't quite get that yet. Uh, so Cavan wants a reward for his service. Of course he can have that reward. He's been very good for us. Uh, let's have a very quick check to see if any other possible betrothals have been born. Not quite yet. There's a couple of quick ones. Quick is also a decent trait. I think it's plus two to everything. Plus three, in fact, so that might be useful, actually. Uh, but Genius is really the one I'm looking out for. If it takes a while and we can't find any, then I will just find a... Oh, there's one there. She's three years old. Genius. We'll get straight there. No point messing around. Hopefully then my son can pass that on to his his children after that. Because I don't really need to worry about prestige at this point. We are still a small lordship in comparison. The daily routine involves repeatedly swinging your blade at a training dummy. However, you only learn so much from fighting an inanimate enemy. And the practice gets dreadfully dull after a while. Uh, I could use someone to train with. Let's try and find a friend who can train with us. That would be nice. So yeah, this is the unfortunate bit about this game sometimes. That you do end up in this waiting game of waiting for things to happen. Uh, they want my daughter to marry Loris. The patrol is ready, so we'll do that. I doubt we'll be able to form an alliance with them, although that would be incredibly cool if we could. Um, I think it's gone through. Ah, they will form an alliance. Okay, brilliant. That's nice to know. So I, I presume that worked. I presume they're married now. Yeah, they are married. So we do have an alliance now with the Reach. So we have a very powerful friend indeed. 21,000 men. So if we do need them, they'll be very useful. I'm not going to take part in this tournament. I don't think tournaments are particularly useful at the moment. Um, I will attend though and sort of, you know, show my face at court essentially. He is fighting a couple of wars though. Dantus of Tumbleton is trying to take a claim. And so is Bitterbridge. So he's got two wars going on at the moment. So hopefully he can win and we keep our ally. Uh, our treasurer has gained a tithe in Brindlewood. 15 gold, which is very nice. We have a good, huge stockpile of gold at the moment for such a small sort of... Let's have a look at our finances, actually. We are one of the weakest economic areas in the Crown Land. So we have a lot of gold saved up, it's fair to say. I was simply passing time at the tournament when I saw two knights argue over honour. I knew straight away that the argument was spurious and the result would be unnecessary bloodshed. I attempted to uh, meditate, mediate even, medicate or meditate, no, mediate the dispute, and they told me that at least one of the knights should survive the resulting duel. Uh, oh, so I lose a point of diplomacy, which is a bit annoying, but diplomacy, not really my game at the moment, it's fair to say. Um, we've been invited to attend the Grand Tourney of Riverrun. Uh, we've not been invited to fight, though, which is a bit disappointing, but we'll turn up again, see if we can make some friends or at least again show our face in court get a bit of a reputation going
I'm absolutely certain my rival is cheating in the tournament. There's no way he could win his fight so easily if he wasn't cheating. Well, there is actually, because it's Ober and Martel. Um, so I can tell Hostetulu we think he's cheating. We can confront him. We can tell everyone who he is, um, that he's cheating, or we can not tell anyone. I'm going to tell everyone what a cheater is. I'm going to spread the message, spread the news that Ober and Martel is cheating in the tournament. Turn people against him. That sounds like a plan. So really, we're just waiting for a plan or a claim on Duskendale at the moment. Whilst preparing for a tourney, a young peasant boy is taken to help him with your horse and armour. You're not quite sure where he came from and how he came to start helping you, but he seems an earnest lad and eager to help. Perhaps he would make a good squire. A cavern. Ah, like my uh, master at arms. He's 12 years old. Pretty decent sass. Diligent, gregarious and honourable. I will take him on as a squire. I'm going to keep an eye on him, actually, because we may be able to make use of him in the future. If we can train him up rightly. We can force to train. Uh, but he's already getting better at swordsmanship. We will force force him to train and see if we're successful. Um, he has gained a point of stewardship though. Which is pretty good. We didn't manage to make him any better at fighting. But he's turning into a decent character overall. So possibly someone we can use as maybe a commander. Or something in the future. If we keep training him up right. This is the nice thing sometimes. When you, you get these characters. And although they're not really important. You know they can become useful characters. You know. We could raise him to nobility, and in fact, we'll do that now. Why not? Um, Cavern Cup sounds like a nice name. Um, so we'll try and get him a match because then hopefully we can keep their family sort of serving ours for years to come. We'll, again, we'll look for someone who's got a decent trail, though I can't see anyone. There is Alison Valerian, who is weak but attractive. I think we'll go for her actually. 200 prestige for marrying a lord as well, and we'll have a Valerian, a high Valerian. Uh, in our court, which is interesting as well. So we'll get him married. Again, I'm hoping that one day he'll be in a position his family can serve us for years to come. Train his children, same way we trained him. Maybe a bit better, actually. And maybe one day he can take a high lordship for us, who knows? Or we can give him some sort of land to control for us. But we're not really in a position yet to expand, which is a bit annoying. I kind of wanted this episode to take Duskendale, but we're still not, we still don't have the claim on Duskendale itself. Um, I mean, we do have that alliance, of course. Oh no, we don't have the alliance at the moment, it looks like. Or we can't call them into a war anyway. Which is a bit annoying, but we'll have to we'll face it anyway. We should have enough men. Once We're kind of just waiting for Antlers, really, to uh, get their garrison back and then reinforce with some levy. Uh, we're, we're ill now. I don't feel too well. Something is wrong with me. Tell me about it. I'm still ill as well. So don't you start complaining. As I was saying that, we now have our claim on Duskendale. There we go. We're not going to go to this tournament because we do have slightly more important things to be worrying about. Do we have any better uh, diplomats? No, we don't. We don't have any better Justice Sears. But he's now going to move on and start taking claims on, I think, Cracklaw Point will be our next target. So we kind of control this northern section of the Crown Lands. Move us. No, we'll keep our Spy Master in Duskendale, actually. Still don't have enough men. What about mercenaries? Can we hire any good mercenaries? Any reasonable amounts. I, I mean, ideally I don't want to use money just to hire mercenaries, but at the same time, if we can take Duskendale quickly, it might be a, a decent idea. He's got 4.68 thousand men, we've got 3.48. So we'll just wait a little bit longer. In fact, Birch Hall is almost fully there. Uh, we're not going to attend the tournament either. We're a bit focused on, on war at the moment, to be honest. I mean, maybe if we can kill him off and his daughter takes it, he may have. she may have less men We'll try it. We'll see what happens. In fact, is her daughter Roller as well? Yes, she is. So, a young ruler, a female ruler, and a different religion. I'm sure a lot of vassals won't like her. Is anyone willing to join my plot? Jeremy is, uh, interestingly enough. A small spear throwing competition could be entertaining. It's also a great way to enliven your battle technique. My throwing arm will amaze everyone. Let's go for it. Ricard Silverax managed to win. He is strong, so... So he's, going to. he's also not married, which is a bit of an oversight, I think. Um, is there anyone who's good at... No, there's no no good spies, unfortunately. She's probably the best. Tana Hutchinson. Uh, oh, it's the same one with the bear. You can come along and we'll save you. Uh, that's, that tends to be my thing on this game. Once things start repeating themselves, I do tend to skip them quite quickly. Um, so Tana Hutchinson has joined our court. She's slightly better than... Oh, no, she's not, actually. She's exactly the same. I, I kind of do want to sow dissent between him and his vassals, but at the same time I do want claims on Rookrest and up towards North Cracklaw Point. 
Uh, Septon Roderick wants a reward. I'll give him a reward. I've got plenty of gold. So yeah, if we could manage to kill him off and his daughter ended up you having less men, that would be useful. I'm no longer ill, which is good. That gets my stats back up and my health back up. We are still looking to have a fifth child, but not quite managed that yet. But at least we do have a son, which is important. Laura Longspear, married to a Tyrell. Ramela Longspear, uh, betrothed to an Arryn. Match Lena Lee, so he'll join our court as well. Which will be interesting as well, because we'll give he'll have a, a claim on the Vale eventually, so that might be something we can exploit. In fact, actually, oh no, his heir is John Arryn. Why isn't the heir Donal Arryn? Oh, because John Arryn's older, that's why. So if we can wait till they're married, then possibly try and um, kill him off, then surely then, yeah, um, my daughter will inherit basically the Vale, because the children will be of their... Um, of my family. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. We managed to kill her, but unfortunately we were discovered, so we gained the trait Dishonourable. Uh, she's then invited us to the funeral of the person I just murdered. Well, I'm not going to attend that, am I? Does she have less men there? That's the important thing. Yes, she does. So, we're going to go straight in now. We're not going to waste any time. We are going to try and claim the rest of Duskendale, claim all our claims at once. Press all claims, raise all our troops, and form up in... Um, in Brindlewood, and we are of course going to be able to lead men this time rather than the last time when we couldn't be. We've been excommunicated, which is really annoying, but it lowers diplomacy and church uh, church opinion, of course, but we'll have to deal with that as it comes. But maybe we'll be able to get that reversed at some point. So we're going to lead from the middle. Goodwin on the left and Rickard on the right. We'll try and cut them off before they can get to Antlers. In fact, now they're going to try and march straight at us. So we'll stay here on the defensive. Now they've decided to stop now. Very, very confusing war at the moment, to be honest. Are we going to be able to catch them before they move on? No, we've managed to catch them this time. Grave news. Mr. Florian, being, having been tended the wounds on the men at your command, is reported to have cracked under the stress of the stream of grotesque injuries. So we've lost some morale for our armies, which is a bit annoying, but we are comfortably beating that army, and this should be a very quick battle, and we will have claimed the High Lordship of... Hang on. Is he attacking? Yeah, he... I think that's just not on. That is not on at all. So I'm a bit confused what's going to happen. Did we did we start this war at the wrong time? Ah, my uh, Cavern Cup, my little squire, can now marry to Alison Valerian. Hoping he turns out quite well. Stannis wants me to be his commander. I'm going to decline for now. Uh, Lady Dana of Harrenhal is trying to usurp my title. Sent their uh, Master of Laws to try and fabricate a claim. We can make him disappear for 10 piety. Bribe him for 50 gold. Well, we've got no piety anyway, so we'll make him disappear. Uh, so they managed to succeed in killing him, so they're not going to be able to build that claim at all. We're going to assault the holding straight away, imprison the entire family, and enforce our demands that we should have taken Duskendale. Do we take Hollard Hall as well? No, we don't, which is really annoying. But we don't have a truce with him, so we can just stand this army down and declare war on him and take Hollard Hall for myself. Uh, again, raise all our vassals. Maybe not those, because they'll just get attacked immediately. But we'll form up our armies, and we should have enough men to beat him anyway. And of course, we have me leading troops, which is always a big advantage. They are obviously going to besiege Duskendale. Uh, Stannis wants us to end the war. Well, no, it's my land. Uh, he's... Ugh. Great. Everything went wrong there. So we've been imprisoned... Uh, but we should be able to do a trial by combat and escape pretty easily. Can we do a trial by combat? No, we can't. That's bizarre. And that's a white piece. So I think he's our ally, or our vassal, possibly. Uh, we do need to create the title. So we'll create it now. So we are now the High Lordship of Duskendale, which means we can have some more commanders if we've got anyone useful. Uh, not particularly. We have Ermund, who's got 13, and Elwood, who's got 10. They'll do for now. We'll try and find some better commanders at some point. I'm confused why I can't demand a trial by combat. That's really weird. Can I ransom myself? I can. Okay, so I can just ransom all prisoners. And I should be free. I don't think he's that concerned with trying to kill me off, basically. I think he's should be quite happy to let me go. Uh, ah, I'm why am I, I don't want to ransom my prisoner. I want to ransom myself. 
Ah, okay, I don't think you'll... My, root, my regent won't allow it, who is my wife, which is a bit worrying. Uh, they're complaining about cells, I'll let them rot for now. We've been hanged. Well, that's great, isn't it? So, everything went wrong very quickly there. Uh, my father has been killed, we're going to have a funeral for him. We'll just invite the family. So, what was looking like a really promising series may end quite quickly. We are five years old, in charge of a lot of land. Which is very unfortunate. Uh, but we'll have to see how it goes from here. So I'm going to wrap the episode up now. We have a lot to do to kind of fix this situation. We are now the High Lord of Duskendale, but obviously our father was hanged unjustly, I'd say, to be honest. Wasn't even given a chance at a trial, but we'll have to deal with that next episode. So for now, I'll wrap this episode up. Now, thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, please do feel free to leave a like. It is always appreciated. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.